Okay, student. Uh, so here I'm going to share a, a important question bank of 11 class physics with you. And I request you, you start your preparation of annual examination. So regarding this question bank, uh, I will be giving you some instruction. Please listen it carefully. Uh, the, the first instruction is you have to uh, submit any five chapter out of these 13 chapters before uh, your final examination. Probably uh, when you will submit your practical files, uh, you have to submit uh, at least six chapter out of this 30. You have to make a solution in a separate 100 page notebook. Okay, now just uh, quickly have a look. Uh, I have mentioned 13 chapters and uh, I have listed some important question as well. So measurement, uh, measurement will be for three marks and uh, it has five questions, then scalar vector, five marks, uh, Newton's laws of motion, five marks, because uh, all three chapters, all these three chapters has been covered in the first time examination as well. Okay, so I have given a bit of less weightage. Now friction, I will be asked for four marks. Now gravitation for five marks, uh, mechanical properties of solid, that is elasticity for five marks, uh, sound waves for five marks, thermal properties of matter for seven marks, uh, electrostatic seven marks, current electricity six mark, uh, electromagnetic waves in communication for five marks, ray optics for seven marks and magnetism for six marks. So this is how I have uh, given the weightage to each chapter. And uh, in every chapter I have uh, given you six to seven questions. So it will be very easy for you to prepare well. Okay, now, uh, if you have any query, you can uh, contact your subject teacher and uh, for MCQ, you will, refer, uh, you will refer your textbook. Now, the next very important uh, thing is what will be the pattern of your examination. Okay, so just look at how your question, uh, how your question paper has been divided into four sections. So these are the instructions. Listen it very carefully. See, there are four sections in your question paper. Section A, in which you will get a 10 multiple question. Just a minute. So I will highlight this to you. So you will get 10 multiple questions see, for 10 marks. This is in section one. Okay, now in section one, there will be question number two. It will contain eight very short answer type question, each of one mark. Then there will be another section that is section B. And from question number 13 to 14, uh, it will contain 12 short answer type question and each carry 12 mark, each carry 12 mark. And out of 12, you have to solve any eight question. That means you will get total 16 mark for this. Now, then there will be section C and this section will contain question number 15 to question number 26. Again, it will contain total 12 question and you have to attempt any eight. Each carry three marks. That means 24 mark will be for section C. Now, in the last section is section D. So now see in section D, question number 27 to 31, that means there will be total four question, 30, uh, 27 to 31. And you have to attempt any three. You have to attempt any three, each carry four marks. That means you will get 12 marks. Now, most of the uh, student, uh, they are thinking that what are the weightage of numerical. So I would suggest you that you first prepare the theory if you are not good in numerical. So here I have, yes. So here I have mentioned the structure, how many theory questions section A contain and how many, how many numerical it contains. Section wise, I have uh, mentioned uh, here. So you just go through this PDF. Uh, here I'll explain you in uh, question number one, where you will get 10 MCQ, there will be seven theory questions, three numerical. Okay. Now in question number two, you have to solve total eight questions for eight marks. Out of that, there will be six theory questions and there will be two numerical only. So you need not to like, uh, don't be in fear that you will get a maximum numerical. So there is a maximum weightage for theory, at least for your board examination. Now look at question number three to 14, that is section B, where you have to solve eight questions. Again, there are seven theory questions, only five numericals. So if you, if you are not solving any numerical, you are solving at least seven theory questions, you will get 14 marks, at least 14 marks. 
now see question number 15 to 26 short answer type 2 uh, each question carry three marks again there are seven theory question and five numeric that means even if you solve theory you will get seven threes are 21 marks from section c and from section d you have to attempt any three question and out of that three question must carry two marks theory and two marks numerical okay so i uh, i mean i want to bring in your notice that even if you are not doing any numerical if you just prepare for theory you will get this marks 7 plus sorry huh, 7 plus 6 plus uh, 2 sevens of 14 plus 21 plus 6 now see okay so 7 6 13 uh, 27 28 48 around on, a, on an average you will get 50 marks just for theory if you are not good in numericals so i hope you will go through this pdf and uh, if you have a query you just uh, contact me or contact your subject teacher and uh, i am sharing a link uh, below this video from where you can download this pdf and i will share this pdf to your whatsapp group as well thank you so much guys